George said before you, we're here tonight to honor journalists, journalists from all sorts of different places in our profession and all around the world, uh, all of them who have differences but are unified in their commitment, deep commitment, to finding the truth and telling the truth, even when it's unpopular, even when people in power don't want it to be told, and even when, frankly, sometimes it requires danger. Uh, I'm here for a very particular reason, to honor one of those journalists someone whom I've had the pleasure to know and to uh, work with for several years now, uh, and someone who, like me, started his career somewhere other than journalism. Uh, I first got to know George Stephanopoulos, uh, who is our honoree for this one. Uh, I first got to know him when I first came to ABC News. I sought George out at a lunch, he'll remember, back in 1997. At the time, George had just written his book. He was on a book tour. He was teaching on the faculty at Columbia. He was on the lecture circuit, and he also appeared as a regular, as a contributor for uh, the roundtable of this week. And I said to George, I don't know what you want to do with your life, but if you were interested in journalism, I would love for you to do that. Uh, to my uh, great delight, and maybe a little bit of surprise, George pretty immediately said, yeah, I want to do that. Uh, and then I got to watch uh, with great pleasure uh, and really one of the joys of my professional life over the last 13 years, as he threw himself into journalism with a passion and a dedication that one simply doesn't see. Now, I'll be honest, there were some people in the ABC newsroom who had a little skepticism at first. That would be ABC News were skeptical. Uh, but George overcame that skepticism very quickly. I, I can tell you, Peter Jennings, uh, who was a stickler for journalism, very early on said that George was one of the most conscientious and careful reporters we had. He quickly surpassed many people who frankly had called themselves journalists for far longer than he. And so now we get to see him with, as a very gifted and accomplished anchor of his own program this week on Sunday morning as he brings his really special combination of intelligence and curiosity and charm and courage to every interview that he does and to every round table that he presides over and brings an equal amount of capability and commitment uh, to his other role, which is as our chief Washington correspondent, appearing on all of our programs, on all of our special reports, and on our uh, website. Uh, it, it, given the way George got to where he is, it shouldn't come as a surprise that he has a deep appreciation and commitment for what this fine organization does. Uh, he knows what it takes to be a great journalist. Uh, he has interviewed newsmakers not just from Washington, from around the world, and so he appreciates the differences in culture and political systems, but he also knows that there are constants, constants in terms of careful reporting, careful editing, and doing our best to tell the truth. And so George appreciates so deeply what you all do. do. So ICFJ has given me the great honor of joining you to help them give special thanks to George this evening. Uh, so, George, on their 25th anniversary, if you'll come up, we have an award for you. Sorry, we're producing this. I have no idea what to say except thank you very much. This is a great surprise. I feel like I walked into a surprise birthday party. It is uh, great for the last several years to have been part of, of ICFJ and the work you do every year. And um, thank you for this honor. And uh, Peter, I mean, uh, David mentioned Peter Jennings. I I'm glad to hear that uh, he had this great admiration for my reporting skills. It never stopped him from just about every single time I was on the air, right before we were about to go on camera, he would say, what's with that tie? Try to throw you off. and then. We, we went on and did our business. Uh, thank you very much. This is uh, uh, unexpected, but uh, very, uh, uh, I'm very grateful for it. Thank you very much.